Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts. Today we're going to talk about the Anderson 100 Series Fibrex Window. So we're here in Houston, Texas at Houston Window Experts where we offer 20 brands of windows and doors including Marvin, Pella, Anderson, Windsor, Amsco, Geldwin, and many more. Um, and today we're going to talk about Anderson, right? Everybody's heard of Anderson Windows. You know, Anderson was established in 1903 in Hudson, Wisconsin. 1903. Wow, that's a long time ago. Uh, trick question for you. See if you know the answer. Uh, who else was established in Wisconsin in 1903? I'm going to see if you know the answer to that. If you know the answer to that, comment it below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you actually like this video. Uh, we like to make window videos all the time describing some of the products we have in a little bit more depth. And so today I want to take just a few minutes to talk about the Anderson 100 series. Now Anderson has a 100 series, a 200 series, a 400 series, then they go to what they call their A series, and then they have an E series. And I have some videos on that particular subject about the whole product line for Anderson. You might want to check that out. We'll put a link in here. But today we're going to talk specifically about this. Now one of the first things you're going to notice about this uh, window is that it's not white. And a lot of windows you see are white. In fact, 93% of all windows sold in the U.S. are white. Now, they make a white window, but for the purpose of our illustration in our showroom, we like to change things up and show different color options because sometimes people are trying to reimagine their home. If I'm changing my windows, what could I do differently? What would I like to uh, do now to make my home maybe modernized or make it a little more up to date? So while 93% of all windows are white, uh, this one happens to be a, an outside color and a white interior color. So don't forget, you can also get two-tone. Uh, this particular product comes with four different interior colors and five different exterior colors, and you can do combinations of both. Uh, one of the most popular looks that they have is the actual uh, black on black, where you actually have a dark color outside, a dark color inside. And that's really popular if you've been paying attention to window trends in the last few years. Um, they do have grids or no grids. Grids are those divider lines you see come across here. They make the grids in two options. One where you can have it inside between the two panes because this is a double pane window. And that makes it easier to clean the window. What some people don't like about having the grids on the inside though is the fact that they, they're not quite as noticeable because the glass itself does have some treatment that's been done to it. And so you are going to lose a little bit of the benefit of that. The other thing that people offer often sometimes go with is where you actually have the grid on the surface. And if it's on the surface, you can actually reach up and touch it. Like I said, it does collect a little more dirt on the outside and it is a little more work to clean, but it really gives a, and lends to a better curb appeal and it gives it a sharper, more realistic look. So a lot of people really like that. Um, one of the things that I will say though, that does bother me a little bit about this window, and I've got a lot of great things to say, but you know how we are at Houston Window Experts. We like to be unbiased and try to give you the very best information possible. I like to point out little things that maybe you won't spot until after the windows are installed in your home. And then you might say, oh my gosh, I did not spot that. I wish I had. For example, if you notice, this is a, a dark colored window. But look here, how you can see the white still on the perimeter here. Now, uh, Anderson's answer to that is, oh, well, when you pop your screen in here, your screen actually is going to block that. You won't see the white. And I agree. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing that it isn't going to hide it, but you should be aware of that because a lot of my clients tell me, Jeff, I don't really like how screens look. And I live in Houston, Texas, and we never open our windows. I mean, three days a year. And so in that particular case, you know, I just want you to be aware. If you bought a black window, black inside, black outside, and then you had this white color here, you might find that that was not um, what you're expecting. Another thing I'm not crazy about either, and, and I know I'm sounding like I'm pounding on these guys, but I don't like how their weather stripping is actually showing right up against that white too. And if we need to, we can also get you a close-up of that. But you see the weather stripping in there? And, and so uh, I don't know why it's so close to the edge, but that's the way it's designed. I can make it more obvious for you if I open the window a little bit. I can actually pull the sash over. You see that sash movement there? And you can see the weather stripping right there in that edge. So um, I don't know why they did it that way. I'm not a big fan of it. It's, I'm glad they put weather stripping on here, right? But um, it is, it's a very good product. That's just a little something that would go away when you have the screen in there, but I'm pointing it out. Another thing I'd like to point out is how you can actually see the lock from the outside. If you look here at this horizontal meeting rail, this is called a meeting rail, where the top and the bottom meet, you can see the lock. And there's a little bit of a gap in there too. 
Uh, and I'm not sure why, if that's just the design style that they chose, but I can see this gap in here and I wish I didn't see that gap. Uh, this is a really cool lock in the sense that it actually does have an auto locking feature. So when I do close this window, the window automatically locks. So that's nice. And, and also you have to be at least four or five years old unless you, you know, your child's a genius, which I'm sure your child is, to kind of figure out how to open this lock. It's not the kind you turn, you actually pull this forward, okay, and then you lift. So there is a benefit to maybe, maybe that helps keep children from opening their own windows. Um, so just a, a thought about how, about how that works as well. I actually think this window is more attractive on the inside personally, which is where you spend your time looking at the window. I think it's more attractive on the inside. I like the fact that since it's made out of Fibrex, and I'll get to that in a second, uh, it's a nice, straight, rigid, firm product. And, and that means that they can actually make these really nice, clean corners up here, if you can see these corners. And we'll, we'll also give you maybe some, some cutaway. There you go, that's a good shot of it right there. That corner's pretty smooth, it's pretty flat. It's not perfect. You've seen me do that credit card test before on, on corners. Hear me hitting that? So it's not, it's not perfect, but it's really, really good. Let's see this one. That one's better. That was actually better, but it does have, it's hanging up a little bit right there. Um, I know I'm really picky, but this is what I do for a living and, I, and stuff like that, I do spot it. Maybe you never would. Uh, nice bevel edges on the inside of the frame. Instead of just being a squared off 90 degree, you've got a nice bevel. Maybe get a close up of the bevel. You can see it right down here in that shadowing. It shows up pretty good. You can see there's an actual nice inside bevel. And so I like that bevel. It just kind of gives it a, a sense of elegance and refinement, which is what you come to expect from a product like Anderson. Uh, one of the things that Anderson does not do so well is the, uh, the miters on the outside. If you saw the inside miters, they look better than the outside. One of the things I just, I'm not crazy about is, if you look at it, you have so many seams going on here. It looks really busy. So you have this outside frame seam, you have the meeting rail seam, you have the top sash seam, then you have the glazing bead seam, and then you got another glazing bead. This corner right here, if you just circle that little two and a half inch by two and a half inch square, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight intersections going on there. I don't care for it. Now, check this out, ready? Actually, my credit card <laughs> went inside on that one. Um, so, Anderson brand name. Really good product. Some little things that, you know, I like to point out that I think are not just perfect about it. To get, to get a nicer product than this in the Anderson line, you'd have to go up to their 400 series. And I have some great in-depth discussion on that on another video. And you'll see the refinement. It's still the same exterior. It's still made with Fibrex, but it has a wood inside. But you can probably double the, the price. I actually have some vinyl windows, ultra premium vinyl windows, that are in the same price range as this that I think actually look nicer and, and probably perform better. But that's a question for vinyl versus uh, Anderson Fibrex, and we'll make a video about that as well. Um, so one of the things that, that is a big buzzword in my industry right now is the word composite. If you've talked to window manufacturers or someone's come out to your house, you hear them use the word composite, composite, composite. It's, it's a buzzword. It's kind of like organic is right now in the rest of the world, right? You always hear about organic limes, organic lettuce, organic, organic, organic. Immediately your mind goes to organic means it's better, or immediately your mind goes to composite means it's better. Uh, it does mean it's more expensive, yes. It doesn't always mean that it's better. So there's a little bit of play on words, and I've noticed a lot of window companies really using that buzzword a lot. And I go see homeowners and I say, I want composite, I want composite. Well. Let's think about that for just a minute. Uh, what if everything you thought to be true about composite was not what you thought it was? And when would you want to know that? I I'd want to know before I bought you know, a house full of windows. Composite just basically means it's composed of multiple things. Um, composite is like saying a cake. A cake is composite, right? It has milk, it has flour, it has sugar. If it's a good cake, it has sugar in it. And you, you compose these things, you stir them together, you put them in an oven at a certain temperature, and voila, out comes your dessert. It's a composite. This is a composite, quote, composite, but it's made of 40% wood shavings that come off the Anderson wood mill floor, right? Which is great. I'm glad that they're being eco-friendly. They're bringing it back into their products versus burning it off or making uh, pellets for a Traeger grill. They're using it here, but it's 60% 
vinyl. It's polyvinyl chloride. 60% polyvinyl chloride. It says so right on their website. So what is PVC, polyvinyl chloride? It's vinyl, polyvinyl chloride. It's what you get in all the other windows. So Anderson tends to brag about, hey, we're a composite window, we're a composite window. You don't want vinyl, you want composite, yet it's 60% vinyl and it's 40% wood shavings. Um, it is stronger than entry-level vinyl. It's about two times stronger than entry-level entry vinyl, but it's not much stronger than like actual high-grade, thick-gauge, ultra-premium vinyl. And we have some videos about vinyl and we'll make some more of those for you that watch as well. So what I'm seeing, bottom line, is don't be fooled by salesmanship. Look deep into a product, look deep into the quality, the workmanship, the warranty, etc. So they have a 20 year warranty on the glass and 10 years on everything else. So what does that mean? Well, that means if the glass seal fails and it fogs up and you get that fog between the glass, that is covered for 20 years. Uh, the labor is not covered though. That means that if it went out in year 10 and you got a new piece of glass from them, it's going to be something that you'd have to pay for someone else to come out and install. So that's, that's just so you understand how the warranty works. If the lock failed, they're gonna send you a lock uh, UPS or, or FedEx or something else, and you're gonna have to swap the lock yourself. The difference in dealing with us though, we're, a, we're a, an accredited uh, window contractor through their certification program for Anderson is if we install this window and we did the work for you, then any of that warranty uh, that you would already have with Anderson also now includes labor. So we are responsible for the labor. So let's say you did have a glass fog up in two years or five years or 10 years or 19 years, we would actually send our technicians out. We have a whole service department that would come out and we would actually swap that glass for you. Anderson would provide the glass, we would provide the labor. So that's the benefit to working with an accredited uh, contractor for Anderson. Um, one of the things that I wanna close with, just kind of getting into all of this is, the question that people say all the time, is this the same window as those guys that come to my house knocking on the door and they have these flyers and they hand out these flyers and it's called Renewal by Anderson? The answer is yes and no. The Renewal by Anderson people love to hate me when I talk about the fact that this window is virtually identical. And so they, they say, Jeff, no, it's not. That's an entry level. It's the, uh, it's the, the cheaper brand. You can tell by looking at the color. And it is not, it is the same product. It comes from the same manufacturer. It comes with the same systems and everything. The differences are that they actually have more options available. They have more lock options. They have a little bit different on the interior. Their ledge right here is a little bit different. The way this is, is laid out, it's a little bit different. Some of the cosmetics and some of the appearances are separate. They do that just to distinguish this enough from that product that they can actually say to you, no, this is not the same product because otherwise they'd have a real hard time justifying why what they're selling you as the renewal product is twice the price of this 100 series. So, you know, to me, I like to use the example of uh, Chevrolet versus GMC, right? The parts under the hood are the same, but the GMC has a nicer grill, it has a nicer interior perhaps, those sort of things. And then GMC versus uh, Cadillac, well, Cadillac has the same parts under the hood, but it has even more bells and whistles and nicer leather and a bigger panoramic sunroof and things like that. So it depends on what you're looking for with your windows. If you love bells and whistles and you love lots of options and you love lots of colors and you love lots of choices, the Renewal by Anderson product does offer more options than this one does. But is the glass any different? No, they're gonna argue that it is. It's absolutely not. And I'm going to prove that to you in an upcoming video where we actually use some independent testing equipment to show you the difference between glass, between brand A and brand B. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about the Anderson 100 series. I'm so glad that you watched with us. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell. If you're on our website, you can fill out the contact form. We'd love to come out and visit with you. Or you can contact us and let us know how we can help you uh, have the most delightful home improvement experience you've ever had. I believe that's what you'll get at Houston Window Experts. Have a great day.